Welcome back to the Player Like a Legend Season 3 Finals here at the Gfinity Arena. We've just had our first match of the day with Emmy beating Zach 4-3 across three legs going into silver goal in the final game. And we're going to be seeing him very shortly in our next match. But before we do, allow me to introduce you to two more people who are helping us with our Season 3 weekend. Could not be happier to be introducing the red eye that is Paul Challoner and Chrissy B down at the end. The leg. red eye. The red eye. That's well. Wow. I'll put a the oh, on the front. Huh. You have, yeah. Got up in the world. Is that all right? Yeah. You haven't needed a the for all this time, but I've stuck one on. Brilliant. Thanks, Try man. it out for size. Yeah, Good. Yeah, control. looking forward to this uh, this next match because uh, that opening one was uh, that was a bit of a thriller, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Um, both Very players interesting. had um, had good good bits of play. Like, yeah, Emmy was scoring goals right at the start, and then Zach coming back right at the end. Yeah, yeah. perfect time in a way because you get that you know, those early goals help, and then the late thrilling goals as well make it even better. And they both seem to have that kind of style. So I'm, I'm hoping for more of the same in the second game. Yeah, it's an interesting matchup to have two players. One of whom likes scoring early, and one of whom's like, well, that doesn't bother me because I'll yep. still try all the way to the end and put the goals in at the end. That's a brilliant way to have a matchup. So we've got Emmy coming back again. We'll show you the bracket for Group A, so you can see how this game is progressing. As I say, three players in Group A. So Ty, Dig Walton, he's got a buy for the first round. Uh, we've just seen Emmy beat Zach. So now we've got Emmy playing Ty. Now earlier on. We were all quite sure that Spencer, well, Spencer and Dave were saying they thought Ty was going to run away with all mm. of this. Do you hold the same, Chris? I, don't know. I mean, you're um, the expert. I mean, we both we've we've talked about Ty a lot, haven't we, over the last couple of months? Because he is a bit. I mean, I hate to use the word old school because you're kind of old school. Yep. When we go back to FIFA, I was commentating you on I don't know eighteen twenty seven when you were yeah, about absolutely. seventeen or yeah. something. <laughs> uh, and, and he's not quite that old, but he is old school when it comes to this this kind of new playing like a legend style. But he, he seems to have transitioned to it really well. Yeah, um, well, I he took a little bit of time, but but now, yeah, mm. def definitely in this last tournament, yep. um, he got to the final, played really well. Um, and yeah, no, I think Ty, um, he's got masses of experience. He's mm. been around for five years, right at the top of the UK yeah. scene. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost like he started late this year um, and now has reached um, his real position again. Yeah, he's just sort of come out into his own now. And I think Dave pointed out that, you know, he thinks he's the favourite in this group. And I... It's hard to argue with that, really, yeah, on yeah. paper, with what he did in, in season two. So, um, on paper, you'd say, yeah, he's probably the favourite going into this. But Emmy showed some really good stuff in that. I'm just a little bit concerned at the possession stuff that he tried to play in that, that yeah. silver goal. Because it didn't, it, it wasn't great, was it? Let's be honest. When you've got Ronaldo doing weird <laughs> passes and you don't really know where it's going to end up on the field, then there's something wrong with the possession play. But can't fault him for scoring the goals that he did, because he did well. And they were good goals that he scored. They weren't flukes. No, no, they, I mean, weren't they were just well like, done. I mean, oh, I'm losing and I've got to just hit anything from distance and hope something goes in because I got five yeah. seconds to go. They were well played. Possession balanced out something like 51%, 49%. Yeah. It was pretty square. Yeah, it's just, I mean, you know, when you want to hold on to it in silver goal and you want to just literally keep hold of the ball, he wasn't keeping hold of the ball. <laughs> so yeah. what are you doing? Um, so so that was a little bit of a concern if it's a tight game, but I think it, if he can get off to a fly like he did in that, in that, in that silver goal game, then I think that puts Ty on the back foot a little bit. And Ty's not going to worry, but he's got something to prove. He was runner-up in season two. Yeah. He's going to want to win it. He's going to want to take home the $5,000. Our guys are ready, so we should be able to have a look at this match. We think it's going to be Ty. I think we're all pretty much convinced it's going to be Ty. Um, well, yeah, go on, Chris. Yeah, def definitely Ty, yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and... You know, play devil's advocate here a little bit and go with go with my French boy. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he's warmed up now. Him. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of it. Might play into it a little bit. You know, ties a little bit colder, goes into it. I don't know. He's looked at that as well. He'll have watched those matches oh, yes. with in, with you know a lot of intent and, and figured out maybe what kind of style he plays. Dave mentioned before five across the back. Let's see what sort of formations he comes up with as well. So I, I'm really interested to see whether. Ty's ready from the off, or whether the, the warmed-up Emmy can bring it home. Can charge forward and scores and goals. Well, we're going to find out. Our players are ready for our second game here in Group A of our Play Like a Legend Season 3. Paul and Chris will be telling you all about it. Indeed, and uh, we are going to get underway. It's, uh, I, I don't know. I, I always like watching Ty play. He has that thing a bit. He has like a swagger. I know it's like a virtual world, but there is a sort of swagger with the way that he plays. Or do you feel that maybe he needs to be a bit more mechanical? Yeah, no, um, I actually think um, so that he started out as very much a flair player um, in his early years, but he has, he has become very mechanical now. Um, so you'll see a lot of possession play from Ty in this game, um, using them wing backs, just controlling a lot of the ball. So um, I think Emmy's going to have become unstuck when he loses possession a lot, a lot of the time. So he, he was lucky in that first game where Zach kept making mistakes and giving him back the ball. He won't get this with Ty. Mm. All right, we're off. We're under running. And, uh, well, the Aston Villa kit is in use yet again for Mr. Walton. He's uh, a Villa fan, of course. And uh, it's always quite nice when, you, when you're able to watch Aston Villa playing with, with players that, with all due respect to Aston Villa, they might not have been able to attract. No. 
in the real world. And I think that's, that's the great thing about playing like a legend for me. Uh, it's the fact that you can actually do these fantasy teams. I'm looking forward to, for instance, oh, I've got a chance here, very early chance, and he, oh my goodness. Well, that's actually offside. Really? Yeah, no, offside. All right, um, okay, yeah. well, you, obviously the old age is creeping in. <laughs> I didn't see that linesman at all, but uh, very, very odd indeed. But early chance, very early chance, and a, a good chance um, to take the lead in this after just four minutes. But nevertheless, it stayed nil-nil. And uh, both players still in this tie now with a uh, chance at the other end, but uh, Emmy's just going to control that very nicely indeed over on the right-hand side. Nice little through ball here. And he's got uh, Bale here on the right-hand side coming forward. Robin trying to find that ball off. He's not going to have that tackle, though. Schweinsteiger in the midfield area. A little bit more of a, a sensible midfield rather than uh, Harry Kane and Wayne Rooney in midfield. What was that all about? You know, it, well, I, f I quite like Wayne Rooney in midfield in this game. A lot of players do, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but Harry Kane, really? Um, Mr. Harry, one-touch Kane? Or was he, I thought he was a striker. Well, I think he dropped him back in the midfield in that in that silver game. Definitely in the silver game he was playing. He was literally playing alongside Rooney. It's very weird. So, Ty Walsh is going to force a corner kick. And an opportunity here for Ronaldo, potentially. They wait with bated breath. The ball to be delivered. It's delivered short. Ball played in towards the penalty spot. And it's headed away. And Emmy now can bring this away on the right-hand side with Bale. A little bit of a hold-up play here while he gets some players forward. Nice little back heel through to Benzema up front. Ronaldo again faced backwards. He's going to hold the ball up a little bit, but he's found himself some space here on the edge of the box. Inside, jinx pass one. Oh, tumbled over, but the free kick or the penalty it would have been not given. And Ty Walton gets away and actually gets himself some space here on the near side. What can he make from this? Only one man up, though. And... Uh, can't actually even deliver the cross. Disappointing, really, from Ty early on. Yeah, no, both um, both players, when they've got forwards so far, have been very isolated with their players um, in that counter-attack. Mm. Oh, um, chance, though. No. And uh, again, Ty's just managed to rob the ball away, and he gets it back. And it's a bit scrappy back here so far. 17 minutes played, no goals. Of course, this is a two-leg format. And these, uh, these goals don't count home and away, either, by the way. Someone asked me that earlier. No, they don't. We'll go to a third match if we need it, if they're all draw. Oof. Well, some uh, strong tackling, let's put it that way. And there is a chance here for Ronaldo if he can control the ball early. Uh, and if I'd said that even earlier, that would have been commentator's curse. Because that was rubbish. Absolutely rubbish by Ronaldo. And you don't hear those words coming out of anyone's mouth very often, that's for sure. Yeah, no, you don't normally, but that was great. Great defending there by Emmy, actually. It's really important to keep your defender across Ronaldo in that kind of situation because Ronaldo just has so much pace. Mm. Strength as well. Really got to get him off the ball. Chance here, though. Ronaldo on his own here for Ty Walton. Is this 1 0? Oh, all the way around the goalkeeper. Brilliant goal from Ty Walton. Absolutely incisive dis uh, breakaway and a brilliant finish as well by the big man with the R. You know, Ty kept the calm there. You, you see this finish so much. Um, running past the goalkeeper at the near post and just slotting it in. Fabulous, fabulous play. Ronaldo all the way, you thought he was going to hit it, went all the way to the byline, slots it in nicely, 1-0. And Ty has the lead. That early goal didn't come from Emmy, as we uh, perhaps forecasted him, as he did in the first match. And that might just hurt him a little bit after that. It's always like Ty said, OK, I know he's going to come at me. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at me in the first 20 minutes. I'm just going to sit back, I'm going to play it out. Defend, defend deep, play the ball forward early, and maybe rob a goal on the counter. That's exactly what he's done. Yeah, and that's very much what you have to do with playing five at the back. Well, ball out of play right now. Will be a throw to Emmy on the near side. Rodriguez now, Benzema inside. Ronaldo after the one touch, not able to receive the ball. Just hacked away to anywhere upfield. And Emmy back with possession once more near side. Benzema in the middle, Modric. Bale. The through ball was uh, about as useless as, uh, or useful as an Astro on a motorbike. It really was ball. Tying out with the possession. Found a little bit more space again on that right hand side, that near side to the touchline. But he's patient. I love that about him. He really has changed over the years. I remember him being one of those very aggressive players, just wanted to go forward and run at people all the time and create something. But 
seems to have added that little bit of patience to his game. Yeah, I think you see that from a lot of players, actually. Um, when they first start out, um, it's all about the attack, all yeah. about the flair. Chance here, that uh, on the edge of the box, and if he can dance around three or four players here. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> in the end, sort of stubbed his toe on it and left it where it was and ran after it. Uh, but looked as if it was going to be a chance, Remy, to bring one, this one back, but not to be. Robin now on the far side. Ball taken off him. Kept in play, though, albeit at the expense of losing possession. Ronaldo now with a little bit of trickery. He's got three players around him, has somehow managed to dance his way through two, and that one will be a free kick to Emmy, though. 37 minutes gone, 1 0 to Time Walton. He'll be very happy this first half, Chris, will he? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, with like Ty, the way Ty plays, that first goal is so important. And he will just sit on this now and wait for um, Emmy to make the mistakes. Near side. With Emmy this time, Schweinsteiger trying to do something in midfield. Modri is also there, and Bale over the top for Ronaldo. Does receive it well on his chest, but just robbed away again. Those three central defenders really doing their job. Um, not sure what that was. Theatrical dive in midfield there from one of the uh, Ty Walton players. And instead, well, loose ball again from Emmy. And Ty now with uh, not a lot to aim for up front, but he's got two men on the far side. Lovely through ball now, though. And here's another chance here. Robin on the near side to the touchline. Pulls it back once. Oh, no, waiting! But there's a header at the back post. And Ty Walton has a 2 0 lead after absolutely brilliant forward play. I can't stress what. How, what, how great that goal was actually because a lot of players would have just crossed it in at that, that chance there yeah, but he the just waits waits for, for that run back post absolutely perfect we thought the chance had gone because Ronaldo come flying in at the near post and that's where we thought the ball was going no it was always going to the back post brilliant play by Ty Walton 2-0 Emi finding his second opponent in the group a little bit tougher than the first one He'll be going back for a rematch with that man once more if he loses this game, of course. Still a long way to go. We're at half-time here with a few minutes of stoppage time, virtual minutes, of course. And uh, Ronaldo again trying to dance his way around the uh, left midfield. And we've got a second leg to come. So still plenty of opportunities for Amy to get back into this. Time just running that clock down at the end of the first half. So first half is, uh, I would say, that's clinically efficient because you've got two shots on target, two goals, 2-0. Two yeah, no, class from Ty. Um, just almost textbook FIFA ready from him. Um, and, yeah, he'll, he'll be delighted with the start. It, despite the shaky start, um, yeah, he's coming to his own. Mm. Very strange, actually, because he's, uh, he's got a sub on for uh, in the midfield. I think he took... I don't see who took off, but Ramirez on in midfield uh, for Kadira. So, I mean, Kadira and Muller were fairly anonymous actually in the first half I don't remember ever saying their names in midfield he likes to, to play it down the channels it seems yeah um, so he'll, he'll normally um, play with the full backs and try that outlet pass to his wingers um, just to keep possession and, and just use his defensive midfielders when he needs to poor ball uh, it won't matter too much though it seemed like uh, there was a free kick to Emmy so fairly deep out here some 45 yards out not a chance for a shot so a little ball inside inside the box Ty able to clear this one up though. Uh, Holt is there, he's going to spread this ball across the far side to Walker. He's uh, taking his time here, trying to find a little bit of space. It was tight down there, but they've managed to get it out and play it up to the forwards. Now, what can they do from here? Again, patient play from Ty Walton. Uh, long, long, searching ball to the far side. There's telegraph really by the defender. And it's fallen Ty's way yet again. Van Aanholt here, who's gone all the way up onto the wing, really pushed up heavily. He's going to get the ball back now. Now, can he deliver this? Checks back once. Inside one player. Can't get around the second one, but somehow managed to hold on. And then is robbed away by Emmy, who's really not got this ball away just yet. A little bit of sweat on his forehead as he finally gets the ball under control. I thought Emmy nearly made a few mistakes there, just in his passing. Um, just tries to get the ball forward too quickly and in some instances. Uh, now trying to build some good passing going together here. Some 15 or 16 passes in a row. Doesn't come to nothing if he can't get a final shot on this. Ronaldo trying to twist and turn around the defender on the edge of the box. Again, though, the defending from Walton is absolutely spot on. Yeah, I think the longer this game goes, goes on, Emmy really just needs to try and keep in it at this point. Um, not let the game go away from him. A third, Changes? A third goal. Changes, um, you think? Maybe not, maybe not just yet. Yeah. 60 minutes is usually the uh, the marker, isn't it? 30 minutes out. Try and give him a good run. 
And uh, likewise, uh, Ty's got a few options as well on the bench, so this, this game could still change. Emmy now with a bit more possession in this last five or ten minutes or so. And uh, Ty just content to hold on to the ball. Play that possession football at the back, searching for a few opportunities. Nice first touch there onto the far side, but Emmy cuts that one out. And tries counter now on the far side. Schweinsteiger in midfield, another through ball. And they found Torre now. Bale gets something going here on the near side. Checks back once. Nice ball in, and Ronaldo flies at the header, but it wasn't connected. And Ty has to do a bit of emergency defending inside his own box. He'll now plan out, though. Robin now on the near side. Uh, gets away with one after a desperate lunging tackle. Doesn't even connect with, well, just anything, basically. He didn't even hit the blade of grass down there. And Robin still has the ball. Has his shirt tugged as well. It doesn't matter, though. He's danced his way around three players. Ball into the box. That's fabulous. Ty Wharton, you're a genius. <laughs> um, a great cutback cross there from Ty Wharton. Um, I didn't think he really had anything on there. Just um, That was nothing. That was absolutely everything out of nothing. Where on earth has he got that from? Robin with the brilliant shimmy, the brilliant cross, and what are you doing in there? Two markers standing there like a pair of oak trees. Completely static. But nevertheless, brilliant play from Ty. 3-0 now. And uh, oh, Emmy's in all sorts of trouble now. Even with two legs. This is going to be tough. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely Emmy that needs to change something here. He just doesn't have a plan B. He's trying to pass around the box look for that perfect um, clear-cut opportunity and with five at the back he's, he's just not getting that, you know, them chances they're yeah, really playing it very defensively as well and even with the midfield holding players as well just keeping everything at bay i mean look how tight it is there's just nothing to aim at in there and he's kind of desperate to try and find some way of getting through that back five ty though picking up the loose scraps he's had three shots on goal three goals yeah clinical from ty Van Arnholt's going to win the throw in here on the near side. 16 and a half minutes remaining of virtual time. Plus any uh, stoppage time, which hasn't been a great deal, I wouldn't imagine. Maybe a minute or so. Ibrahimovic now. Ponytail bobbing about behind him as he lethargically makes his way forward, but nevertheless he has made some progress. Lovely, incisive ball through to Ronaldo. Oh, robbed off the ball at the last minute. Desperate lunging tackle, but it was clean. And Ty gets away with it. Yeah, slightly better for Emmy there. It's the first time we've actually seen him be able to do a free ball and get behind Ty's defence. So, an improvement, but Ty still has it locked down. Very tough right now for Emmy. He's got to keep his head here. If he can get one goal, who knows? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know quite what you would describe that as, as a back heel lob. I think that's what that was. It sort of bobbed off one of the, uh, one of the defenders. And, and, you know, there are some bizarre goals now and again, so you never know. Wherever it comes from, I don't think he'll care. Ibrahimovic, though, tumbles to the ground. That was, again, theatrical from him. And nothing given. Ty now going to just try and run down the clock a little bit here. Play some possession football in his own half. He's quite content to do this. He's done this the whole game, just soaking up the pressure and then hitting him with some incisive breaks down, the, uh, down either side of the wings and making those brilliant goals. 20-0 right now. Muller. In midfield, oh, chip ball over the top. Quite find its intended player. And on how now will find Robin on the near side again. Robin, well again was attacked almost, uh, just you know, aggressively attacked in there. And it doesn't seem to matter. He can just shake off any challenge. Throw in now. Time again, just ticking down. Four minutes or so remaining. What can they make from this? Well, actually nothing. That's uh, that's going to drop out of play. So, last few minutes. Uh, what are you doing right now for Emmy? Are you, are you like, let's just throw caution to the wind right now. There's no point, is there? I mean, I know there's two legs, but still, he's, he's just got to throw the kitchen sink at time. I think um, maybe, maybe wait, keep this game at 3 0, we'll try and get a goal if you can, um, but then he'll have the chance to set up new tactics and maybe think about it in, between the break in these games. And the trouble is, of course, if he just throws caution to the wind now and then he gets hit on the counter yet again, 4 0 is almost done and dusted. Yeah, it will be. Ball through. Again, didn't find Ronaldo. He's desperately running across the pitch to try and find that ball and get a chance here. Two minutes of stoppage time. And we are in them. And what can Emmy do? Whistle is imminent. Referee will place that whistle to his lips any moment now. But what 
can Emmy do? Near side now. He's forced a corner. It's a very late corner. He might just have enough time to deliver this. But he's going to have to be fast. Short corner, taken quickly. Ball into the box, near post. Goalkeeper's going to come get that one. And Neuer has made sure that he keeps a clean sheet for Ty Walton. It is 3-0 in our second game of Group A. And Ty Walton is a worthy winner. Yeah, um, and we saw a lot of this um, in the last tournament as well. It's very, re you know, he let, um, he didn't concede many goals mm. in the last tournament, and again with a big clean sheet here. Um, I'm not sure if Emmy can even score one here, but you know, looking at that game, let alone three. Mm. Yeah, difficult to come back from three 0 down after that, but uh, nevertheless, um, let's talk about the positives in the match because Ty, although. It's 3-0, and that looks pretty comprehensive. It wasn't that comprehensive. It was just that he was very incisive with the shots that he had. Three shots on goal, three goals. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know the old adage is, you know, take the chances when you get them, but mm. I've seen him create 20 chances in a game and score one. Yeah. How does he turn that around in, in that game and, and score three out of three? What, what was the difference for him? Yeah, no, so you, you can think maybe Ty got a little lucky in the fact that he, he did have three... I wouldn't even say they were... Well, you had one clear cut, yeah. um, the, the first yeah. goal. Yeah, he created the um, other two, didn't he? Yeah, but they, they were like half chances mm. and he scored them. So um, to be 3-0 up, he can he can do feel himself... Do, do you think Emmy's sitting in that booth right now and thinking, what did I do wrong in that game? I didn't really do much wrong. One goal, sure, OK. But 3-0, really? That's pretty, that's pretty harsh, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it was harsh for Emmy. Um, yeah. from, a, from a defensive perspective as, as well, he didn't do a, an awful lot wrong. Yeah. Um, Ty didn't really force the issue. He didn't have to. Mm. Um, Mark of a good player. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you think, game two? What does Emmy do now? Does he, does he mix things up a little bit? Does he change formation? Does he change players around? What's he going to do with it? I think, uh, no, I think Emmy has to just go for it now. Um, yeah. All out, attack. All, all, all out attack. All out attack. Yeah, OK. Well, we'll see what they do in our second leg, which we're about to get underway. So Ty, with a 3-0 lead, is going to switch around a little bit. Not too many changes, but pretty much what we expected. Almost identical lineup to the first half of his first match. He's gone for Muller and Kadira again in that central midfield. He's got Ramirez on the bench, which he can bring on as well at half time if he wants him. And we are underway in our second leg of Group A. Ty Wharton from Team Dignitas leading 3 0 against our French hero. And I have to say that because I backed him. Like, you know, commentators curse or something actually playing out, and I feel really bad for him right now. So let's hope he can get off to a good start, maybe make a game. And he's got a chance on the near side here already. Uh, near ball, near ball. Oh my goodness. Oh, how has he not finished that one? Awful header to start with. Tried to rescue it, but Noyle was perfectly placed. You know, that, that was a really good chance for Emmy, actually. You see um, the near post header, um, like Ty with his third goal, um, is so effective on this game, and a really good block there by the, by the defender. Very, very difficult ball to take on that first, first chance. Bail now, near side for Emmy. Sprinting forward until he's uh, found a defender. Oh, terrible ball inside. It was great if you were playing with Robin, but you weren't. And now Ronaldo's away. Surely this is 1 0 Tywalton. Oh, that's simplicity defined. And Tywalton goes one up already. It's 4 0 on aggregate. And I'm afraid to say we might as well just pack up shop and go home right now because surely there's no way he's not going through from Group A. Yeah, no, I can't see him losing this game now. And that goal just sums up this game, really. Ty sitting back, waiting for a mistake. A, you know, a poor ball from Emmy in the midfield and Ty just easily breaks. And that was, a, that was an easy goal for him. He shouldn't be conceding goals like that at this level. I'm glad you said that because I was about <laughs> to say that as well. It's, it's, come, it's better coming from you. Because my FIFA, honestly, is since the days I beat you in FIFA 05. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think Chris has I don't my memory's not that great. But. Chris has conveniently forgotten that I beat him once in a FIFA. I actually, I think it was FIFA 07. And actually, I might have drawn. Okay. That's a lot <laughs> different from where we were a few yeah, minutes Yeah, well, ago. it was, wasn't it? I, I, I may have messed with that story over the years about having beaten you. <laughs> I may have told that story. Uh, anyway, uh, back to more modern times. 4-0 uh, right now for Ty Walton. Uh, playing in the Aston Villa strip, of course, his, uh, his favourite team. And uh, I know that Ben Woodward will be watching our, uh, our uh, head of uh, marketing because he's an Aston Villa fan as well. Yes. And he, he delights in the fact that he can watch Robin and Ronaldo in a, a Villa strip because a man can dream. <laughs> he can wish. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. Uh, but nevertheless, the FA Cup finalists from last season, of course being used as uh, Ty Walton's kit and team for this uh, tournament, just as it was in the previous one, where he did so well reaching the final. Attempting to go one better this time. Long range effort from Emmy, stinging shot. Just whizzes past the bar from Modric. 
And uh, well, that's a little bit of intent. Ty's not going to get too complacent here and make sure he closes those shots down. But it does suggest that he's thinking slightly differently now. He's thinking, I'm not going to be able to walk this ball in. I'm not going to be able to get those box shots that I want. And he's actually going to have to take a few pot shots like that from 25, 30 yards. Ronaldo now, oh, nearly got the ball, but three of them around him again. And that must be the, that must be the key to success, Chris. Just put three men on Ronaldo. Just, just man mark him with three. Yeah, trying to contain him on this game <laughs> is very difficult. Um. <laughs> a terrific player, of course. Not, not just in the game, but in real life. Robin with a little header back. And uh, time for Ronaldo here to spread this wide. Time to Muller. back once more and now Marcello looking for the ball on the far side has to uh, play a long range header but Robbins easily brought that one under control nice little ball inside now for Muller once more building play once more on the far side here for Ty Walton no possession whatsoever for Emmy in the last minute or two finally gets it back at his own half maybe he could build something from the back here Schweinsteiger Modric Ronaldo nice connection between them Benzema Schweinsteiger once more Trying to find some space in a ball to Modric, laid off for Benzema, Ronaldo now, inside ball again, Bale's joined in the attack now, on towards the edge of the box, two men waiting for the ball to come back to Benzema, with, well he tried a clever little chip over the top, and that didn't work out, and once again Ty's just going to soak up that pressure and bring the ball under possession. Yeah, it was a bit frustrating though from Emmy, he, he kept real good possession there, um, got in a good position, um, but just the free ball wasn't on, and it's just a similar shame to keep possession and then rush it's, it at the it's final It's pretty, hurdle. isn't it, when it's like that, but it's not very effective, unfortunately, uh, as uh, Ty will force another corner. That's the Robin down there. Short ball about to be played. Robin's the man going to be delivering. It's whipped in hard. Back post. Two men go up for it. Three fall over. And somehow it's broken out to the edge of the box to a Ty Walton player. Now, can they do something from here? No. And, uh, hey, whoa. steady on, lads. It's just, it's just football. Free kick, chance for tithing. Is this 2 0 in the match? It's left, it's now placed. Ronaldo's ready, he sets up, he's about to slam this one into the box. Is he? He is! Oh, delightful goal! Yet another one, and it's a Ty Walton Ronaldo combo special that makes it 2 0. You know, um, quality free kick from Ty there. Um, Emmy's even tried to put a defender on the line to yeah. block that, so that, that's credit to how good that free kick was. That's just absolutely. Picks and perfect. Two nil and five nil on aggregate now. Ridiculous scoreline in the first group stage of the day. And Ty already putting down a very good marker for his ambitions in this tournament. He wants to win it, and he can win it. He has the ability, has the team. He's not done yet either. Ronaldo now just puts his foot on the ball, holds it up a little bit and uh, does a uh, semi-backflip somersault, which got a 5.9 from the judges. And a free kick by the looks of it. Just eight minutes and a half remaining then. And uh, Emmy now, unfortunately, is looking for some consolation goals. But, you know, I might be clutching the straws here and tell me if I am. Actually, I probably am. If you can get a couple of quick goals, who knows? Um, I'm clutching the straws, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, are. Am, no. Yeah, um, so yeah, not... Oh, my goodness. Well, it, it was another great attempt, but it, I have to tell you, in what have we played now? 130 minutes. That's the first shot off target from Ty Walton. Yeah. Is, is that the first <laughs> shot that hasn't actually ended up in goal? It is. It's the well. first one that hasn't gone in the goal, uh, which is why I was quite silent and, and, and quite astonished, because as it headed towards that goal, I was actually practicing a Brazilian goal celebration. Yeah, uh, Ronaldo well. now on the edge of the area. Kadira for the first time, really in an advanced position here. Uh, for Ty, that's how confident he is right now. Ronaldo with three players around him yet again. Beautiful little bit of skill, dances inside one. Couldn't get the shot off though. And Emmy now will get a chance to bring it away with a little bit of relief and respite for his players because they've been absolutely slaughtered in this first half. 2 nothing. exactly the same scoreline from the first leg in the first half. Four added minutes towards the end and they are going to be four painful minutes as far as the French are going to be concerned. A bit of uh, back and forwards for the throw-ins, but nevertheless, Time Walton will head into the half-time break with uh, a massive lead on aggregate. Five nothing overall, and two nil in the first half of this game. Just 45 virtual minutes between him and the quarter-final stage already. His uh, day's work is almost done. It's a good first day too. What were we saying about him being rusty? 
a little bit tired maybe, first game, got to get used to it, yeah, got to get warmed warm up. up. He's come out of the blocks, hasn't he? No, no yeah, problem definitely. at all. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, um, yeah, Emmy played actually so well, in, well, at times he played so well, well in that first game, and we've not really seen much of that at all. Mm. No, he has, been, uh, he has been kept back heavily, that's for sure, half-time then, 2-0. Uh, Ty Wharton from Dignitas, and as you can see, three shots, two on target. Not quite as good as the first match where we had three out of three. A nice 8.4 for Ronaldo up front again. Are we going to get the uh, change in midfield? Actually, Marcello is going to come out here. Uh, Van Arnholt and then Kadira for Ramirez, I guess. Yeah, so same as we did last time, exactly the same changes. It worked so well, why change it? Yeah, um, no, like Ty, Ty Wharton likes to change his fullbacks just to get a bit more pace on at half time. I think he keeps with his normal setup just to get the chemistry um, in the first instance. Yeah, definitely, um, he definitely likes those channels as well. You, you rarely see him using that Kadira Ramirez or, or uh, Kadira Muller combo in that midfield. He didn't really use them much. I mean, saw Kadira maybe 30 yards out from goal once in the entire first half. Very interesting to watch how he uses his players. Everyone does them differently, which is part of the beauty of the game. Chance here. Ty trying to look for Ronaldo, somehow falls to his feet. I don't even understand how that was magically possible, but he's danced his way around four players, and that is absurd. Ronaldo makes it 3-0, and this is, well, this is game over. Yeah, completely. Um, I was thinking there may be goal of the, the tournament, but it just seemed like Emmy gave up there um, in tracking Ronaldo down. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I think the defender literally went, oh, I've got the ball. Really? Me? I've got the ball suddenly? It, uh, I don't know what to do with it. I haven't seen it all game. It's just kind of passed me by. And then it found Ronaldo's feet and he kind of just watched on in astonishment and went, that guy's great. He's a really good player. <laughs> Look at him dancing his way through. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm supposed to tap. Oh, yeah, that's kind of gone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just admiration, really. They even do it in the virtual world. But he has got a chance and he does get one back. Now, Ibrahimovic on the score sheet. Nice little through ball. Simple, but effective. They did appeal for the offside, but not given. So, 3-1. And uh, it's 6-1 overall, so I'm not going to get too excited just yet for Emmy, but that's at least a consolation goal. Yeah, no, it's very much a consolation goal. Um, I think maybe Ty's relaxed a little bit. He'll, he'll be disappointed in that. He'll, he'll have wanted to keep the clean sheet. Um, but Emmy gets the goal he's been searching for all, all game, really. Mm. Yeah, he deserves it through perseverance alone. A little bit of defending to do here, and there's, uh, there's some sharks just outside the penalty area, so he needs to be careful. Finally gets a chance to uh, bring this one away. Nice little side ball. Slide ball ball for Robin on the inside. Schweinsteiger, Ibrahimovic. Uh, looking for the return ball with Ronaldo. Didn't find him. And that's really been the story of his match so far. Great passing play. Really good connections. Poor end product. Chance for Ty now. Holds the ball up in midfield. Nicely done. Finds Ramirez. First time ball to Robin now. Dances his way around the first one. We didn't really. He tried to. But didn't even get the ball off. Again, though, back with Ty's defenders. He's going to build from the back once more. Muller and Walker combining. And Boateng now spread wide to Van Arnholt. Robin waiting. Nice touch to Ramirez. Muller. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Great ball to Ibrahimovic on the wrong team. And Emmy now. With Schweinsteiger in the middle. Just a little loop ball over the top. If Ronaldo can shrug that first challenge off. Beautiful header back, though. Nicely done. No panic. And for the Villa fans watching, I'm sure they're hoping that that's exactly how their defenders play in the next uh, upcoming season of the Premier League. No panic. <laughs> Certainly won't be how Newcastle play, I can tell you that for sure. Already. That's my team, in case you didn't know. Yeah, no, I didn't yeah, know. No, yeah. I, I didn't want, I I didn't didn't want to mention it. But you didn't want to mention it? <laughs> I wouldn't want to mention it after the season we had. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. And uh, I have to say, Emmy's uh, Emmy's defending has been about effective as, as my teams <laughs> throughout the season. It's not been good, uh, but also credit where it's due. Ties has been, you know, it's been great forward play. So I think it's a mixture of the two, maybe not just one thing. Ibrahim was uh, just trying to find a little bit of space. Ronaldo was waiting for the ball. Oh, look at this! Hello, it's a little bit of lift up play in that midfield area. Didn't quite find its intended uh, partner in crime though. And instead, Emmy now can bring the ball away. Less than 20 minutes to play. Ty Walton safely through to the quarterfinals already. It's almost academic now, but Emmy playing for a bit of pride here. Would, want, would like to go out of this match with a couple of goals so he can at least say he drew the second game. Don't forget, he's not out of the tournament either. He's still got another game in the group. He'll have to have a, uh, a return match. 
with the uh, man that he beat in the first game. And uh, he's already advanced out of the group before, so it's not a, that's not a straightforward victory for him, even though he's won one match. That was very tight in that first game, so he knows what he's got to play up against. And I, I'm always wondering, Chris, is this, does this enter the mind of the tactics when the players are playing? Do they think, right, I've lost this game, I'm not going to give anything away. I don't want to give him a chance of learning anything about how I'm playing, so I just play this out straightforward. Or is he even thinking about that right now? Um, he might be. He, he might just be thinking, I, I need to keep playing because I don't, if you give up, oh then you... Ronaldo, chance here, and it is a second. Nicely done. Nicely worked as well. And with 11 minutes to go, it's 3-2. Not all Ty Walton's game this time. Sorry, Chris, you were saying. Yeah, no, so sometimes when you give up in a tournament, um, you might go into the next game with that same mentality. So, yeah, yeah like, like you said, it's important to forget, not, not to forget, um, Emmy's not out. He still has another game against Zach Moore, who he already has beaten. Yep. Um, so, yeah, he just not, needs to keep playing his game if he thinks... It's good enough to beat Zach Moore. Um, then, yeah, just keep going. We can go right now, right to the end. I think this is a much more on, on balance. It's a, it's a fairer scoreline, really. I mean, if it had been 3-2 in the first game, I wouldn't have been that surprised. Or even if it had been more like 1-0, maybe. That would have been OK, yeah. too. So 3-0 just seemed to... No, no disrespect to Ty, because, you know, he got the goals and took his chances, but it just, it just flattered him a little bit with the amount of possession, the amount of play that, that uh, Emmy had used. A free kick here, Emmy with another opportunity here with five minutes remaining. A chance of a 3-3 draw in the second leg. Small consolation, but at least he's he's got that experience of playing it. Ibrahimovic now playing it through. Ronaldo, oh, squeezed past the post. Slams the glass in frustration as well. He should do, really, because he probably should have done a little bit better with that. You know, that was a click opportunity to score there. Um, and yeah, Emmy, one of the best players in Europe, should have scored. Um, and it's almost like Ty's the one who's given up now. Um, you know, he's going through to the quarterfinals. He's relaxed a bit. Um, the same applies to him, really, isn't it? He didn't want really to give anything away here. A oh, brilliant run here, chance. Oh, is that penalty? Yeah, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if it's deserved, but <laughs> that way. Well, either way, it's harsh. And oh, my goodness, chance for Ronaldo then to tie this one completely in the bag. Four-two. Ronaldo <laughs> missed! Astonishing miss! How have I connected the words Ronaldo with missed? That's that's unbelievable. You know. I, I I'm wow. Imagine that that actually had to mean something as well. Then that would have been really bad. As it is, it's not gonna make any difference to the end result. But you don't see many of them. That's, that's one for the history books. Final whistle has been blown, and Ty Walton has won through in a very comprehensive victory, 6-2 overall, uh, but a much better performance in the second match from Emmy, I think, much better from him. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely in that second half, he got back and, and can take a confidence boost into mm. his next game, um, but I'm not sure how much of that was Ty Backing you know, off a little bit, yeah. taking his foot off the accelerator. Yeah, I think yeah. he did relax a lot. Yeah. And, Certainly um, relaxed too much in that penalty, didn't he? Yeah, what I was I, that? really surprised considering the guy's what, <laughs> scored f four out of his five opportunities yeah. or something like that and misses from the penalty spot. Isn't that a case of the, that old <laughs> cliche of like, you know, I can, I can finish the hard stuff. It's the easy yeah. stuff that's really much harder for me to finish. I don't know, I don't know what went on in that one. But nevertheless, uh, great performance from Ty overall. In, in the whole tournament itself, just talking about the whole tournament, where do you see him right now against the other players? I mean, we've still got Brian, of course, from uh, Vitality, and there's still a couple of other very good players in this. But it, is he tournament favourite, close to tournament favourite? Where'd you put him? Um, yeah, I, I'd put him in that sort of... There's a, probably a top four or five pool mm. of players that can win this tournament, yep. or, or I'd back to win this tournament, and he's certainly in that. I don't, I don't think he's behind Brian at all. I think right. they're on... They're on a level, a, Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Emmy, of course, now has a chance. He has an opportunity to still make that quarterfinals tomorrow. Final game of the Group A, of course, uh, coming up uh, very shortly. But uh, how, how does he come back from that devastating defeat? Or do you even feel like it was devastating in the end because he got those couple of goals, it was a bit closer, he played some better football? Yeah, no, maybe, maybe it wasn't too disastrous for him. Um, and I thought, from an attacking perspective, he played very well against Zach Moore as well. Mm. Um, he just has to shore up defensively, defensively yeah. a bit. He's made a few mistakes. Um, maybe he's a little, little bit nervous, although he has been here before, so he yeah. should be used to it by now. And he played the first game. Sometimes, I mean, you, you know this from experience, when you play the first match and then you get a chance to play the second one straight away, 
and you're in in situ, you, you're comfortable, your controls are set, you, you you know exactly what's going on. It's usually a bit easier, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. I, I've I normally um, lose my first game in a tournament, and then go on and <laughs> remember and, those days and, and, well, and get better as the <laughs> tournament goes on. Yeah. Um. So yeah, t t great, great from Ty to to get that first game out mm. of the way. Um, considering Emmy had won his first game. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, in terms of tactically speaking, now Emmy, do you feel there was anything in the two games? Because didn't really change much between the two two games, personnel or formation wise. Do you, do you feel maybe he has to adapt something slightly different for this next match, or or does he stick to what he did in the first game, knowing that he won it, albeit on a silver goal? Yeah, no, I think you definitely stick to how you were playing before. Try and psych out the other opponent for him to try and do something different. Yep, because um, yeah. even in that game, I thought Emmy should have won by a few more goals. Whilst mm. it went to um, silver goal and it was close. Yep. I thought Emmy had the upper hand. So, yeah, I think um, stick to how he was playing before. But if he ever plays Ty again, he's going to have to change something. Yeah, he absolutely <laughs> is. Uh, well done to Ty Wharton. And he is the winner of Group A, and he's speaking with Matt right now. Ty, congratulations to you. 6-2 is a healthy way to win your first match, and your day is done. You've qualified for the quarterfinals, and that's a pretty easy day at the office. You must be very happy with that. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to get your first win under your belt. I, I didn't really want to lose that game, and have to play Zach more and if I lost that I'd be out so I'm happy with the win and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah of course you've qualified for our quarterfinals starting tomorrow. You had seven shots on goal, you scored six of them. What happened? What was wrong with the other one? Why didn't you get seven? I know um, I actually thought I was quite clinical in the game like every chance I was getting I was scoring. I know in the first game when I checked the stats at half time I had two shots, two goals. I just my finishing was on point today and I hope it goes into tomorrow the same way. Yeah, I'm sure with seven shots and he's scoring six, that's an absolutely brilliant turn of affairs. Uh, you've played Emmy before, haven't you? So you rated him as an opponent as well. Were you confident going into the game? Yeah, I mean, I'm confident in every match I go into. You know, at the end of the day, it's a game. Everyone can beat anyone. And I know that if I perform to how I can, you know, I can come out on top. So you're not taking any games for granted. You're not assuming this tournament is yours uh, for the taking. I'm not underestimating anyone. You know, everyone that's qualified is obviously a good player because it's the best of the best of the ones that are competing, so, yeah. And now that you've qualified for the quarterfinals, obviously they're taking place tomorrow, uh, you were the runner-up in Season 2 to Vitality Brian. Is it Brian you want to see in the final if you get there, or are there anybody else that you, you fancy playing along the way? Um, I don't really mind, you know, who I play. To to be the best, you got to beat the best. Um, so, you know, whoever I get, you know, I've just got to perform well and hope it goes my way. Did you do any different uh, preparation in the run-up to this season as opposed to last time? Uh, last season, I did have a slightly different team. I went with a more Spanish league approach. And this season, I've changed my team up to more of a German team. Okay. Um, I just think it suits my style of play a bit more. And obviously, it's shown in that game that it's working for me. You probably won't want to give anything away about how you're going to prepare for tomorrow's. Are there any decisions you wish you'd made uh, before that game? Do you wish you'd started with a different squad or saved anything and kept anything under your belt to show tomorrow? No, I think, you know, the way I wanted to play, it, it worked out for me. And, you know, everyone saw how I played now, so I can't hide anything. But it's all right. It's hard to stop the way I play, I think. So that's the advantage I've got. Well, congratulations on being our first person through to the quarterfinals. Well done. So we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. So Ty has qualified for tomorrow's quarterfinals. That leaves Zach and Emmy from Group A who are going to be playing each other again. Much like Dave predicted earlier on. That's how he thought this might work out. Whoever wins between Zach and Emmy will be going through to the quarterfinals as well and the other one will be going home. So we'll be finding out who is our first person to leave us here at a Play Like a Legend tournament very shortly. I'm on it. 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 I'm on